Welcome to Animal House, everyone. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I handle uh, very large and unusual sized projects with a great accessory that I added to my pallet forks on the John Deere 320R loader. Let's get started. Here's the project guys. So basically I've got a John Deere 3039 tractor, a 320R loader, and then I've got the Frontier pallet forks that are an add-on. I absolutely love these pallet forks. They're completely handy. It's easy on, easy off. There's a ton of times where I use these pallet forks and I don't use them for long, but when I use them, they're a great time saver. So uh, basically these things can be ordered in 42 or 48 inch lengths. And I've got the 48 inch length on this uh, loader right now. Here's the challenge. Sometimes you get to a situation where you're lifting a very deep load or, you know, certain instances it's just very awkward and it helps to have a little extra length on the pallet forks. doesn't happen very often, but it happens. So um, basically uh, what I am showing you today is an attachment that I got from Yintatech on yintatech.com and they sell a variety of pallet attachments, loader attachments. And what I'm showing you today is the 82 inch pallet fork extension. So let's take a quick look at this product. What we're looking at with this is, um, I, this is the 82 inch version. These are red and I'm looking at 82 and a half inches uh, from one end to end. And I've got 78 and a half inches to this point. They are five inches wide. So this width right here is five inches. And on the inside, I'm looking at a strong four and a half, you know, maybe four and nine sixteenths. Um, this way we're looking at an inch and a little less than three quarters. So somewhere I saw literature where it was 1.85 inches. Um, the one that I got delivered to me was uh, a little bit less than an inch and a three quarter. So um, I did actually have to very slightly kind of brush off some of the rust in order to get them to go on to the pal forks all the way. Very minor adjustment and I love the fact that they fit nice and tight. So they're, it's secure and safe. So uh, then along with that, okay, it comes as a set of two. Uh, they're pretty manageable as far as weight goes. I mean, I can handle this pretty decently. Two people would be no problem. With this design, I like the fact that there's these spacers on the bottom and that it's not steel for the entire way. Uh, I can imagine mud getting stuck in if it was you know, steel for the whole way, plus it's just added unnecessary weight. So I do like the design of this. This looks like, I don't know, three, six, three sixteenths or quarter inch steel. I'd have to look at the specifications on that, but these are, these are a nice product. There, there's no way that I'm gonna bend these with the force that I have available on this three series compact tractor. I mean, I think the loader capacity on here is maybe like rated in the book. It's probably like a thousand pounds, give or take. Um, I can tell you that 14 to 1500 pounds is about the absolute limit that I can get up. I have a lawn roller uh, that I've had on these pallet forks and with the lawn roller all the way tight to the back, I can barely lift it. And a lot of times I need a little assistance. So um, anything that you're gonna put on here uh, you're going to pretty much not be able to lift before you're going to bend these unless you're using other leverage factors. So I really like that they're not too heavy and I like that they're heavy enough to take care of my needs. So uh, with the product, <clears throat> I got it delivered to my door. Nice, e easy to work with box, kind of heavy when two are together and then unboxed it. It had good uh, plastic material that was protecting everything. The paint was nice and clean. And then we came, we came with a couple of pins here and these pins are so that when it slides on, then you put these pins in and then it's not gonna accidentally pull off if you're in a loading situation for safety. So I like the design of all this. It came with a longer length of chain. Uh, I think there was like maybe a 15 inch chain on here, but it didn't actually go to anywhere. So I'm thinking it's just the, the manufacturer must be thinking it's up to the individual to decide what they wanna do with that. I chose to put some bigger snaps in there. There was some smaller ones that came with it. I chose to go with some bigger snaps and just cut that off. So I've got a little handle to pull these out. So that was the way I went. You can do what you want. But uh, let me show you real quick how these things go on and a practical example of how they can help. So we'll get these things on here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just show you how to, or how, how I'm gonna choose to use these right now. 
So I get them slid on. Like I said, I did have to smooth my surface a little bit. I had some rust uh, and such. It was really close, but it, it works and it fits really snug. When I look at this, I mean, this is, it, there's no play in there at all. I, I think these fit perfect for me. Um, I would check all that stuff out ahead of time. So these are easy on, easy off. So I'm just basically gonna get this all set up and then some examples of why these are useful and why I want these was like, this is an eight foot by eight foot platform right now that I'm just gonna show an example of. If I put those 48 inch pallet forks in and try to lift this platform, uh, it's kind of awkward and I have to like have somebody stand on one side so that I don't tip. Uh, either that or I have to be tipped all the way like backwards. So it's a pretty unsafe situation overall. I really like these, these are gonna extend all the way to seven feet, so I'm not gonna have any type of tipping situation. Another thing I'll show you real quick is when I store things in my shed for the winter, like over here, uh, I've got this shelf, and this shelf is six and a half feet deep. So I've got multiple layers. There's a lawn tractor up there, there's a wagon behind that. Sometimes I'll put the snowblower back there. Now for the most part, I can get in there and I can reach or push or pull or you know i can make it work but it's really convenient to have that extra three feet of reach so or two and a half three feet or so so that's one example i mean other examples uh, would be something like this so for storage in the winter instead of having three different trailers square footage taking up space in my shed i basically take my small trailer and i get underneath it I lift it up, this thing weighs about 900 pounds, this trailer, so I'm able to lift that up with the loader, set that on the bigger trailer, and then I take my dump insert and I lift that up and I set that on top of that. So basically I'm saving space, so I've got the ability to park another vehicle in the shed in the winter to keep it free of snow and ice. And then, um, you know, it's, it's basically just a value add anytime you can stack vertically versus everything on the ground. So uh, I'm gonna show you these things in use real quick and have a couple of final thoughts as we finish up the video. So first thing I'm gonna remind everybody is you're dealing with lifting things out in front of you. Remember the pivot point for the tractor is the front tire. You have got to pay attention to what's behind you. Um, I, would not, I would not dare lift anything that far out in front of the loader without having the ballast box on the back or some other type of weight like minimum 500 pounds. So basically I'm in here and I'm gonna raise up and I'm able to lift this entire platform. And I'm a little bit off of center here, but uh, if you take a look at the bottom, you know, I've got the right reach, I've got the right length and everything is much more secure. Everything is safer. I feel a lot better about moving around this product having that pallet fork extension on there. So there's a pretty good example of where it makes more safety sense. I cannot stress enough the need to have ballast weight in the back of your tractor. It is very dangerous to be going forward, have to put on the brakes and have a large load in front of you. There's a high likelihood for your implement to tip forward and it's just a dangerous situation all the way. Uh, and you know, so you gotta you got put something behind you. You gotta know what your limits are with what you're working with because you're changing all of the physics when you're extending things out three feet. It's, it's a bigger difference than what you might uh, assume when you first consider it. But otherwise, this is a great product here. Yintatech.com is where I picked up mine and uh, you can check it out if you want. I'll throw a link down in the subscription. Otherwise, guys, if you like the episode, please click for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode of Animal's House.